Hi, it's Sam Tidmarsh here from E-Commerce Expo, Technology for Marketing and Ad Tech London 2019. Uh, we're back again as part of our video interview series with yet another fantastic speaker from our show, Sanjay Badan. You're the global uh, head of CRM for MacArthur Glen. Um, I mean, first off, which game do you want to play? Should we go for the blocks? For the blocks, Sound yeah. more interesting, yeah. Well, after you then. <laughs> so, um, tell me mm -hmm. about your first job. Sure. How did you get here right now? Sure. Here we're at MacArthur Glen. Yes, yes. well, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> no, in MacArthur Glen, yeah. yeah. So, so, my first job, um, so I, I've worked, what, for about 17 years now? Mm -hmm. First job was for a local college. Okay. Um, just like a bog standard marketing assistant job, mm -hmm. really. Um, in terms of from there to MacArthur Glen, mm -hmm. that that's been quite a quite a journey, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, what kind of roles have you been doing? As uh, I mean, yeah. do you, have you always worked in retail? No, that that's the interesting one. So, so, if you think about the journey from from kind of my local college to MacArthur Glen, I've covered everything from um, telcos. I've done most of the telcos. I've done utilities, done financial services, done right. like profit, mm -hmm. public sectors, obviously the college, and mm -hmm. then finally yeah. got to retail. I mean, in terms of what what I did during that time, I've kind of done a lot of different things mm -hmm. under the umbrella of marketing, and mm -hmm. I kind of was looking at CRM even before I knew it was called CRM. Right, right. So <laughs> when I was at the charity, I was kind of managing a national um, sponsorship scheme, and um, it was only when I kind of left that and kind of got into utilities, it was like, ah, oh, I was doing CRM. That that's what they call mm -hmm. CRM. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I know. So and I, I guess. Uh, have these? Do you feel these roles have supported you on the way to retail, or is, have you felt it's changed your job role as you've continued throughout your career? I don't think I think of it like that. I don't think it's about supporting me for any industry. Um, coming to MacArthur Glen, I haven't changed the way I've approached the world or CRM in any way. Mm -hmm. um, and given that I've worked in so many different industries. I don't think I, I appreciate, I understand CRM along the lines of an industry. For me, it's a customer, it's a relationship, it's some channel, it's some data, mm -hmm. gotta make it work. What MacArthur Glen is for is, is um, some challenges, but those challenges aren't just because of retail, it, it's to do with you know, not being an e-commerce player, mm -hmm. things like that, mm -hmm. which, is, which is you know probably more interesting than, than calling it retail. Mm. Um, so yeah. And well, I guess what we've seen is uh, so much conversation about the death of the high street. Yeah. Um, you see retail stores closing left, right and yeah. centre. We yeah. only need to look to Arcadia yeah. and how that happens. Yeah. I mean, do you, do you see that as a problem with MacArthur Glen? MacArthur Glen is growing. So we're still growing in the industry, it's amazing, which is, um, I would say, discount outlets is probably the one area mm -hmm. that is showing growth. Um, obviously, we're not on the high street, we're out of town. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think the industry has to adapt, and, and that's the key thing. Um, MacArthur Glen is an e-commerce player, and that's really interesting, we're growing. Yes. And yet, we're not, you cannot buy our products online. And, and that, that's right, you shouldn't be able to because of the nature of the business model. Um, but in terms of the high street dying out, that doesn't surprise me. Right, why yeah. did you say that? You know, because because I think consumer needs are changing. Mm -hmm. The way people shop and their habits are changing. Um, and then just to kind of put it out there, MacArthur Glen is on the high street. We're a different kind of business. Right. We're not your Arcadia. Mm -hmm. yeah. know, we're not the kind of place you go to every week to do your shop unless you want to spend a vast sum of money on, on Armani and a wrap yeah. around and so yeah. forth. Um, but people are shopping online, people have more choice. Mm -hmm. And what you've got is the emergence of other brands and other players coming into the marketplace. Um, and some of these retailers, my observation is, is they probably haven't adapted. Um, not so much the technology, a lot of people talk about adapting to technology, they haven't adapted to their customers. Okay, now right. their customers have changed. Okay, I see. Yeah. Uh, I guess with CRM, at yeah. its heart is the customer. Do you, do you, I mean, do you see CRM as it's just a tool, how do you use it? Yeah. Uh, what what yeah. are you doing with CRM to kind yeah. of build those customer relationships yeah. when effectively your customer is in store? How mm. do you bridge that gap? Mm. That, that's the challenge. Okay, <laughs> that's, right, that's the yeah. new challenge. Yeah. That's why, why my team exists. Mm -hmm. um, so it's interesting, you call CRM a tool. Mm -hmm. um, and, I, and I think, I, 
and, and I see this across the broader industry, suppliers and, and different organisations work and people I've worked with. Um, I don't think people really understand what CRM is. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe that's not a bad thing because I have a definition in my own mind what I think CRM is and I, I certainly don't think it's a tool. I think it's I think it's more than that. I think it's, you know, it's strategy, it's ideas, it's, it's the ability to define a purpose and give, and give a relationship a purpose mm -hmm. and definition. Um, for me, CRM isn't just about the technology and the data, it's, it's more about the thinking. Okay. Um, um, it's about, uh, do, do you map journeys, customer journeys? How do you, yeah. is it just a data? So it's not just a data yeah. tool, it's not just about yeah, the yeah. customer, it's about yeah. bringing all of these together. Yeah. Do you map out specific customer journeys? I mean, yeah. so many yeah. companies yeah. are getting customer journey wrong. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. That's because wrong. they're too fascinated with, with designing journeys, and I've been there. Right. You, you get a pen and paper, you might bring a consultant in mm -hmm. and you design a journey and, mm -hmm. and you kind of, you know, try to create moments of wow and, you know, awesome moments. Yeah. But the reality is before you get to a journey, just step back and just think about what kind of relationship do I want with customers? Um, and I've probably created five different sets of CRM models and customer journeys in different industries. Mm -hmm. um, and the one thing I've learned is, is take a step back, think about why you exist, think about you know, what kind of relationship you want with customers, think about what that means, what, what kind of, what is the natural pace, what is the natural tone of that relationship. Um, MacArthur Glen, you're not going to come shopping every week. Mm -hmm. Your relationship's going to be defined by how far you live from the centre. Mm -hmm. So naturally there's a pace, there's mm -hmm. an expectation on your part as someone coming into MacArthur Glen, and there's an expectation on my part as the business. So, and when you design those journeys, forget journeys, think about the data, the technology, anything. Just think about what is the natural pace of that conversation. Mm -hmm. you know, and then your journeys come together. And let's face it, the journey is always going to be a mixture of I need to engage you, I need to manage you, serve you, I need to sell to you, mm -hmm. you know, something's gone wrong, you know, I need to fix it. It's always going to be a mixture of those kind of things. And all you're trying to do is work out what is a win-win scenario. When is it right for you? When is it right for me? Mm -hmm. And then you think about, right, what channel works in that mix? What data do I need? Mm -hmm. You know, what capabilities do I need? Yeah. Um, and can my people support that? Do you use data quite actively with your CRM? Do you use a lot of data? Is it big data? And also, yeah, I've yeah, yeah. got so caught up in yeah. talking to you. Yeah. You know, to... technically I'm winning. Just <laughs> <laughs> you are, yeah. <laughs> I need to get I'm on gonna, this game I'm, I'm quick. Gonna... Yeah, talk, talk to me about data. Yeah. Uh, are you using it uh, it's a lot? <laughs> so, so it's interesting you mentioned um, Big data. Yeah. You know, I have heard that word mm -hmm. so many times, big data. And any CRM program needs some level of data, you know, and, and that can just be name. I just need to know your name, yeah. you know. Um, I need to know when you last shopped with us. So there isn't there's kind of you know a basic level of I need some data. Mm -hmm. But what what you shouldn't do is delude yourself in thinking that you need all the data in the world. You need big data. Right. The reality is I can probably build and you can probably build um, a good enough CRM program with limited data. Right. Some common sense that goes a long way. Um, what what I believe in is stepping back and thinking how are you going to use that data. Um, what do I need it for? So let's come back to MacArthur going, what do I really need to know? What's going to help me? What's probably going to help me is knowing where you are in relation to a centre. Yeah. What's going to help me is to understand what kind of brands you like, mm -hmm. um, what kind of categories you're interested in. Mm -hmm. um, those are quite powerful. Um, knowing, for example, your lifestyle, you know, your profile, that, that's powerful. But I can probably create a program without that. Um, and then you can start to worry about where that data comes from. Um, is it, am I gonna, are you going to tell me? Am I listening to you? Um, am I observing you? I'm just going to look at what you click on, what pages you visited when you go on our website, what, what you visit in centre yeah. via our Wi-Fi network because we know where people are going, for mm -hmm. example. Um, or I might buy that data. Mm -hmm. But I think you've got to start with what data do I need? And, and what a lot of organisations don't do is define their data strategy. And what I mean by that is think long and hard about 
what data do I need? What structure is it going to be? Where is it going to sit? Mm-hmm. Um, and then move forward with that. But you don't, you don't need a lot of data. You've, you've got to really think about what do I need versus what can, what I, do I not need. Um, data will overwhelm you. Data will overwhelm every organization. There isn't, you will find that when it comes to having enough analysts, and enough campaign managers, you'll find that the data will just, you know, wear you down at some point. So, so make it manageable. I see, so it's yeah. almost using data correctly, using it for insights, not just yeah. getting data. Yeah. It's, I guess it's what we're trying to do so mm-hmm. much at Technology for Marketing yeah. this year, yeah. uh, with our key theme of actionable insights derived yeah. from data. And I know yeah. that you're speaking, of course, mm-hmm. um, in a, both a solo talk and a panel, yeah. which is really exciting. Yeah. And ho- hopefully we'll get some of these kind of, more of these insights of yeah. the show in yeah. more depth than we, we can do on video yeah. today. Brilliant, thank you. Yeah, no, f- thank you so much for coming down and really excited to see you talk at the show. And um, I think we need to finish yeah. playing this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it, haven't got too far at all. Is it my go? It's your okay. go, it's your go. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>